Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of September general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you all are doing well. So Sagittarius, someone rising Venus individuals, when I was meditating over your energy, the song that I got was You Don't Have to Call by Usher. Now, Usher happens to be a Libra, and we are currently in Libra season, okay? So you could be dealing with a Libra, someone rising Venus individual, or something that is going to take place in Libra season when it comes to your love life. Now, the message that I got, and I promise you, just before I started the camera, I said, look at spirit, You're quite witty, quite witty spirit is. The message that I heard was, this is, um, what did I get? Um, yeah, okay, so I got you guys, you care, but you won't, but that won't stop you from putting two in the air. You care, but that won't stop you from putting two in the air. In other words, like, peace, I'm going, bye. What's so tripped out about that is Usher, who happened again, happens to be a Libra, one of his sayings is, peace up, A-Town down. So somebody could be from Atlanta. You could currently be in Atlanta. You could be dealing with someone who was born in Atlanta or you could have been born in Atlanta. That doesn't have to resonate. I'm just putting that out there. But he always says that exact thing. And literally, like I said, the saying I got is you care, but that won't stop you from putting two in the air. In other words, like, I care about you, but I give you the deuces too. Again, peace up, a town down. I don't care. I, I, if, if I feel like you are doing me wrong, I'm gone. Now, with the song, you don't have to call. It's also, he says, you don't have to call. It's okay, girl, because I'm going to be all right tonight. Again, flip it and put it where it applies with genders. But I feel like for some of you all, if you may have been put out of a home that you share with someone or someone takes your key and says, you know, we're done. I feel like it's really, even if, even though this person kicks you to the curb, it's really going to burn them up when you're not begging. You're not calling them and begging them like, I, okay. Let me come get my stuff, blah, 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 blah. It's really going to work their nerves. It's going to work their soul. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because it's like they're expecting you to come back because your things are there, this, that, and other stuff. I feel like that it's going to be the opposite. This person is going to be salty because they're expecting you to call them and beg and plead for them with them. And, and I feel like some of you guys aren't doing that. On the other hand, that could be opposite. That could be something that you're putting somebody out and they're not doing that. Now, if you don't live with this person, you're not dealing with this person, it could very much be that... Because I am getting a newer type of relationship. It's like all of a sudden this person ghosts you. And you're like, okay, that's fine. You don't got to call us. Okay, because what you don't know is when you try to call, you're going to be blocked. I'm getting that also. Now, if you are completely single, this could have been something that you were just, um, you, you dealt with not that long ago. But it's coming into your reality right now because just like he said, it's okay, girl. Because I'm going to be all right tonight. Not just tonight, moving forward. From this night that you're watching, is moving forward. You're in a different mind frame when it comes to this situation. You're like, I am the justice card. Whether you have a justice sun, moon, whatever, you're going to feel like I am the justice card. I'm going to balance things out in my life. Justice is a scale. It's about balance. You guys are going to be balancing things out in your life. And you're not going to be entertaining things that make you feel stressed out and overwhelmed. Okay? So we're going to go through the deck. And I keep hearing Libra. So, yeah, we are in Libra season. I'm telling you, something that's going to happen in Libra season. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the temperance card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifiers. Okay? Currently at the bottom of the deck, you have Major Arcana Star Card. What did I tell y'all? What did I just say? You're going to be fine. Star Card is wish fulfillment and healing. You guys are healing. And if, even though her body's turned this way, do you see how she's looking at us? Like, you don't worry about it. You ain't got to call. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to work on my emotions and feelings. She's sending water. Water's emotions and feelings. Also, you guys have spirit guides that are surrounding you, helping you heal this energy. This is a very highly vibrational frequency, this card. You have spirit guides that are helping you. Some of y'all definitely have strong Aquarius in your chart, or you could have been dealing with someone who had Aquarius in their chart, but whatever the case, you're healing. That's a major kind so that's definite, okay? So let's go through the deck, get us some shuffles. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys, this will be a twin flame connection. You got Aries right here with the Emperor. For every Emperor, there's an Empress, vice versa, same sex, however it resonates. This is a divine counterpart. So for some of y'all, this person could be going through a runner chaser phase. And if you don't resonate with the twin flame journey, it could very well be someone that you thought you would be married to or someone you were married to on a long-term commitment. But you just feel like, you know what, I'm not going to hang around and deal with the BS. Also, somebody could be saying that, like, acting like they're not bothered, but they're very bothered. 
Nine of Swords, sleepless nights, anxieties, worries, and fears. This could be you because of Swords, but you would know where it applies, okay? Yeah, somebody was definitely keeping their options open. Seven of Cups, keeping your options open. Illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. Hmm. Could have been with this person for seven plus years, or you or this person is a life path or a personal year. Seven. Yeah, something was seven. Wow. You just had the Seven of Cups, now you have the Seven of Pentacles. Something was seven. Also, July could resonate. You would know how that fits in your narrative, okay? So let's go through the deck. Again, we want... The Temperance card and the card that comes before and after for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. We want the Temperance card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Okay, it's all the way at the back. So as I'm saying, it's taking somebody a, a, a long time to get past it. But here's the thing. Remember, I was just saying you had the you just had the Seven of Cups. Now you got Seven of Pentacles. And remember the Seven of Cups came right before the Seven of Pentacles. Look where it is now. Right in front of you. Seven of Cups, illusion, confusion, feeling scattered. You're facing it. So on an emotional level, you could be feeling confused, but it's like, it doesn't matter. I'm moving on. Just like the song, you don't have to call. Exactly. Like, I'm moving on. Because somebody, see, you got all these sevens. You just have Seven of Pentacles. Now you have Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven, Seven, Seven. So every, even though things don't look good right now, when you think about it, Seven, Seven, Seven is luck. That's hitting the jackpot. So whatever this stuff was you went through with this person, it ain't did nothing but, you know, I feel like helped you wrap up some type of heavy karmic so, uh, cycle. That's what I feel like it is. And that's honestly, that's where I'm getting intuitively. Whatever it was you went through with this person, it's wrapping up a karmic cycle. That, that shit wrapping up is done. Look, and they bring a new lover to your life. I can't make this up. Ace of Cups, brand new lovers coming in. Could be from a water sign, a cancer by Scorpio, possibly a July cancer. Okay, doesn't have to be. This person's first, middle, or last initial could be W M T J C U A P or S. You can meet this person on a Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, or a Monday. Also, for those of you who are already in a situation, if you have not talked to this person since one of those days, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, or Monday, this person is like they're in shambles emotionally. They're all over the place. They don't know what to think. They don't know what to think and how to move forward with this situation. That's part of the deck. You have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, strong Leo, I'm getting. You see how he's not facing us. He's looking in the opposite direction. You may have had somebody who had eyes in a different direction. They weren't focused on the relationship that you guys had. Yeah, because now I'm here focused by um her. Her happens to be a Cancer. You got Water Strong here. So, again, it could be a Cancerian. But something that happened in Cancer season in July that wasn't that long ago. Let's get a clarifier for the Seven of Cups as well as the Six of Swords. Now at the bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Swords. You don't got to call. Huh, she got a sword. of like, you don't even got to call me. Stay where you at. Somebody has to guard up, very defensive, okay? So I feel like this could be you. Again, male or female, because this is Swords. This is your energy. You guys, like, you don't got to call and say shit. Also, some of you guys could very well be putting up a very good front. Like, you see, look at her face. She looks angry. So because she's angry, she's putting up this front because you see how the sword is in front of her. Putting up a front like she's okay and she's not bothered, but you wouldn't be angry if you weren't bothered. So somebody is very much bothered, but they're not letting it show. Let's get a clarify for the Seven of Cups. Clarify for the Seven of Cups. Clarify for the Seven of Cups for Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus. And I keep getting Libra. Keep in Libra. You guys are not Libra. This is this is sad reading. Hear me when I say this, because somebody in the comments gonna say, "You keep saying Libra." Hear me when I say this. I keep getting Libra energy because first and foremost, Usher is a Libra, and I keep hearing a song even as I'm talking. And you keep getting this sword energy. So some of you guys could have very strong Libra in your chart. Well, like I said, because it's Libra season, it keeps popping up. This is gonna take place in Libra season for a lot of you all. Even if you are single, it's like something may be coming back to your mind because we are still in Saturn retrograde. Saturn, that, that deals with that karmic stuff. Because I keep wanting to say Libra. This is very much, hear me again. This is, this is Sagittarius reading. But I keep hearing Libra. Again, either someone who has strong Libra in the chart, even including you, or Libra season. I feel like if you have no Libra in your chart, Libra season, this is going to play out. Because you even have the Six of Swords. And she has her back turned towards the past. And she's going towards the future. So, coming into, you know, Libra season or throughout Libra season, some of you guys could be, yeah, as I stopped, I just peeked that in. You got the tower. Yeah, some of you guys will be going through that kind of, going through the motions. And that's exactly what you got here. 
illusion, confusion, feel scattered, having open options, but it's like somebody's going through it. You got Scorpio Aries energy here with the tower. Yeah, again, this is sad reading, but something, something big. This is big. Something big is going to play out in Libra season. So again, Sagittarius, Summer Rising Venus, you got to be strong. It's how you be strong. Don't allow yourself to succumb to emotional um, conflicts. Yeah, because you are Empress or Emperor. We just had this energy earlier. You know, we had the Emperor. Now you got the Empress. See, here's the thing. For some of you guys, this definitely could be a soulmate twin flame union thing that's going on here. And you need to be strong during this transition because, you know, <sighs> I'm a fellow twin flame. So if you resonate with this, I'm telling you, it, it is not an easy journey. It is not tough. A lot of people like to romanticize it, baby. It is not that. It's not just romantic, lovey-dovey. It's work. You have this contract because it's work. Now, again, if you don't resonate with that energy, you could be married to this person, engaged to this person, or you you know, you know, were with this person for so long, it felt like a marriage. You felt like this was your forever person. But I'm going to tell you also because her back is turned towards this confusion and, and BS and she's going towards the future, the Six of Wands. I'm going to start Six of Swords. This could be telling you very much so that you're getting ready to meet your person. You're a long-term person. Again, I can't make this up, guys. I'm getting a lot of Libra stuff here. And again, this could be a time frame where someone has this placement in the chart because the Empress is Taurus, Libra, and Aries. So something with Libra season for a lot of you all, which again, we are currently in. Let's get a clarifier for the Six of Swords. Yeah, you don't have to call because here's the thing. Swords of communication and mental. Sword up, yes, sword down. No, the swords is down. Like, you don't got to call. I'm going to keep it moving. I'm going to keep it moving. That's exactly what I'm getting here. This could be you or this person. So again, let's get a clarifier for the six, okay? And you get the five cups. This person is like, I'm not, you or this person, somebody's like, I'm not going to be sitting here sad and woe is me and heartbroken anymore. I'm not doing that. Again, there definitely could be a water sign involved. You got the seven of cups, five of cups, and then even though these are swords, she's on water. So there could be a water sign involved or something happened in cancer season because I was getting cancer very strong also. Bottom of the deck, yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse. That's your happily ever after with your family in reverse. It's like a family that was broken up. You see, you do have a card peeking up right here. Yeah, somebody was betrayed. Wow, are you looking at this? So you got the Ten of Cups and then the Ten of Swords. Somebody was betrayed. Okay? In a situation, you have a child or children with this person. And at one point, you were devastated or they were devastated. Somebody was devastated. Looking at spilled milk, crying over, you know, something that has ended. But in reverse, it's like, I'm no longer stressing over that. It's time for me to move on. Because you're going from the five to the six. That's advancements. Five in reverse, like you're stuck. Well, you're moving out of being stuck in that five energy. Upright is like, I'm currently stuck in this. It's in reverse. You're coming out of it and you're moving on. And that's exactly what he was saying. And you don't have to call. Like, what did he say? He said, I'm sick and tired of sitting at home. I'm going to find me someone. In other words, like, I'm moving on. I'm going to move on. Someone may be wearing a blue shirt or something that's predominantly blue right now. Someone's favorite color could be blue. And, and when you think about blue, when we talk about emotions like sadness. So she's sad to move on, but she knows she has no choice because she's not going. She'd rather be blue than in gloom. Again, put it where it applies, male and female, being strong. And that's a major icon. That's the only major icon you have here outside of yours. So it's like you're going to be strong and you're going to move on. That's exactly what he was saying in that song. Like, I got to move on. And he says that throughout the song. I got, even in the very end of the song, he says, I got to move on. And that's exactly what you guys are doing. If this is you, if it's somebody else associated with you, it's, it's like they're trying to be strong and move on. Again, you got strong Leo energy here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, very strong Libra. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Two cards associated with water. Okay. So that could either be a time frame with someone's sun, moon, or rising placement. Someone rising or Venus. Okay, so Sagittarius, some rise of Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button, and until next time, take care and be well. Bye.